okay. Uh, hello. It is January 15th, 2024, day 15. Uh, proud of myself. I haven't skipped a day. Um, I wonder what the threshold is for when you actually start a new habit, uh, how long it takes for it to like truly become a habit that sticks. I feel like it's somewhere around like two weeks to a month, but I don't remember. Um, but anyway, patting myself on the back for getting past two weeks. Um, nothing too crazy to report today, uh, except for, let's see, kind of an eventful day, I guess. Um, what happened? Uh, hmm. You know, nothing crazy. The dogs and I had a little bit of a rough night last night. Um, Layla, of course, has stopped eating her food. And today I had to go to Trader Joe's and pick up chicken and rice and make her that. So that was, that's fun. But she ate it, which is good. Um, she's been so picky with her food lately. So it's just been a real... Real burden to try and get it, get it, uh, get it working and get her eating. Um, some ups for the day. Went on a good run. Twenty eight degrees out, and I ran five miles, so that felt good. Um, and speaking of running, this is really what I want to talk about today, tonight. Uh, is this like there are like two versions of me. And it feels so weird to just like share that to, you know, an audience. I guess I'm glad I'm gonna get done early because, you know, it'll be a while before anybody really sees this. But I feel like I have two personalities <laughs> and not like, not like borderline or not like, you know, schizophrenic or anything like that. Not that, not that like I'm shaming that if someone has it, but, but for me, when I am in a, time of intense stress and anxiety and worry <clears throat> I I like I, I feel if I'm not if I'm not well slept if I'm not well exercised if I'm not eating right um all of the things that are like key to being a healthy normal productive person if those things are not in check, then combine that with stress or anxiety or other stressors in my life that are kind of rearing their head all at once. Um, it is like, it's like night and day sometimes. Sometimes I just feel like, I, like the, there's a switch that just goes off and then I like get so mad and so frustrated and part of me the part of me that says like you know have some self grace is like okay i'll have some grace on myself fine that's the right thing to do is to forgive yourself and to move on but some days when it feels like it's going to be a good day and i feel like okay i slept well all things are in check and then there will be this little trigger that comes up and it just like takes over for a, for a hot minute. And um, like, I guess, I guess like a decent example is last night with the dogs, um, I was feeding Layla and uh, she wouldn't eat. And I've spent like hundreds of dollars on on these like new foods for diabetic dogs and and then she just will like get excited about it for like two days and I'll think we're good and then like day three she stops eating it and it's like it's just like so deflating and beyond deflating like it's now gotten to the point where I'm getting really frustrated and really angry and you know, it's almost like I get sarcastic with them. Like, okay, fine, don't eat, 
no problem. Just take their food, put it on the counter. And I'm, but I'm like, it doesn't help anything because she still has to have her insulin, which means I still have to find a way to solve the problem and get her to a point of eating and, and doing it in a calm way and then giving her insulin. And then that's just, that has to be the routine or things will go really south really fast with her health. And you know, it's, I feel like it's like defeat after defeat. One thing goes right, three things go wrong. One thing goes right, three more things go wrong. And, you know, and it just, it's deflating and it's frustrating and it's annoying and it's angering. Um, and yeah, it makes me, it like, it, there's a, there's like a switch that flips and, and then I just, for a split second, I feel like I'm turning into this different person. And then I pause and I come out of it and I'm just like, you know, I sit back with my frustration and my actions and just like take a breath, sit down and remind myself that it will be okay at some point. Things will be okay. Um, but it feels very Jekyll and Heidi at times. And I guess it's a little, it's concerning to a degree and then what my anxiety has taught me over time is that um, if you sit with something and you examine it and you try to understand it and you really look at like the broader landscape of yourself and your anxiety, then you can start to kind of troubleshoot what is and is not working in your life. And it takes a long time. I mean, I started struggling with anxiety when I was like, and I guess it was 2019, so it was pre-pandemic. Um, and it took a while, but then the more that I sat with frustration or anger or, or anxiety or OCD or whatever, um, the more that I sat with it and worked through it, the better it got. So I'm, I've learned over time to have more grace on myself, but... Um, but it doesn't make those down times any less frustrating and it doesn't make you want to have them happen any more. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's sort of a vulnerable, you know, part of, of my life as of late. It's not always like this, but as of late, it's been like that. So I'm just trying to like cope and work through it. And just since we're being open with each other, uh, I feel like I don't feel lonely. I really don't ever feel lonely. Like a lot of people think I'm an extrovert. I think I'm in probably more of an introvert. I don't mind being at home and doing some work and watching a show and relaxing and, you know, working on a project or being with my dogs. But, um, but when it comes to like my everyday life things and dealing with the pups and going shopping for groceries and doing laundry and cooking and all these things, like I really want a partner. Like I really want a companion to like be like walking alongside of me and doing these things with. And you might say, okay, let's try to get out and date, you know, like, try new things. It's like, I definitely do. I definitely try those things. But dating in a city is very hard. And I, I feel like that sort of, I don't want to call it a loneliness component, but that non companionship component, the companionship that does not exist in my life right now, I, I really think has an exacerbating effect on that Jekyll and Hyde component um, of me. And um, that's not to say that like a partner entering my life would make those things go away, not implying that at all. But what I am saying is when you have someone with you who can just like, you can help them and they can help you and you add to their life and they add to your life and neither are subtractive. Um, then I just think that like, that is what the communion and community with another person is supposed to be like. Um, so I am super eager for that moment. Um, I kind of describe myself as being just as excited with 
uh, let's see, what, what was, what's, what do, uh, blah, 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 what do I always say? Um, I'm just as content in my singleness as I am excited to, to find a partner. Um, and yeah, I just am looking forward to that moment. Um, or if not that, just a little bit of reprieve. Um, and running tends to help with that. Working out helps with that. Eating right helps with that. Sleeping well helps with that. So um, anyway, now I'm rambling, but uh, that's the gist of it. If, uh, if you struggle with anxiety or OCD, or you feel like you flip flop in the same way that I do, um, just a point of uh, mutuality. You're not alone. It sucks. It's hard. And it's not something that you want to endure, but it's life. And comment below or like send me a, a message or something if uh, if you go if you struggle with this because I always like to extend myself to, to people if they're going through the same thing. So anyway, I think that's it for the night. I am freaking pooped. Um, yeah. I guess the, the, I'll end with some positivity. Uh, super glad Layla ate her food tonight. I made some amazing almond milk tonight that I'm pumped about. And it's snowing outside in New York. So um, it probably won't stick because that's how things go. But we'll take the wins. <laughs> uh, all right. I will see you tomorrow.